Ashes takes you on a magical journey. Through an enchanted land, an evil battle for the chance to rule a mystical kingdom. No! No! Who, who are you? Oh! It's a tale of warriors and wizards, beasts and dragons, and the search for the power of a lost treasure, the magical Excalibur. Where is the soul now? In a place of untold danger. <laughs> Warner Brothers proudly presents a brand new full-length animated feature with songs from Academy Award-winning Carol Bayer Sager and Grammy-winning composer David Foster. And I can feel his heart beat still and I will do great things on my father's wings. And featuring the hottest fire-breathing duo this side of Dragon Country. If I didn't have you, I should be so lucky. If I didn't have you! Oh, wait! You'd be dead! What? Meet Devin and Cornwall. Proof that two heads are better than one for harmony. Oh, if I did I have for you! Silence! It's a tale of love. Mm -hmm. Luck! A tale of bravery. <laughs> The search for the magic sword. Quest for Camelot. Thank you very Thank much. You. Devon has left the building. Uh, you never sung before, have you, man? When you rent or buy a video, you need to know that the film you choose is suitable for the audience at home. To help you understand what the film is like, you can look at the certificate it has been given. This film has been classified U. That means it can be seen by people of all ages and there will be nothing unsuitable for children. Video certificates are there to give you the chance to make the right choice. Thanks for listening. of mine in the southwest of Africa in a country called Namibia. We're going in search of the big game of Africa in the Itosha National Park. Ready? We just click on lion and away we go. As the sun rises, a herd of zebra head for a water hole. Just look at all that dust. The summer is hot and dry in Africa, which makes the animals very thirsty. Hey, what do you know? You can lead a zebra to water and make him drink. That's right, Bugs. The zebra's striped coats look funny, don't they? As if they're still wearing their pajamas. That's right, Doc. Those stripes make it so a zebra's enemies can't tell where one zebra ends and another begins. Gazelles and antelopes also come down to the watering hole. I hope this water is not too cold, you know? I love a good swim. The morning squeal. I call this one the chicken breaststroke. Get it? Huh? That's funny. This doesn't feel like a bath towel. 
Africa is home to many types of birds, and also the largest, most majestic animal of them all, the elephant. It's a putty cat, it's a putty cat, it's not a bath towel. Shh, be very, very quiet. It's duck season. Okay, Bob, that just about does it. Look at me, I'm a scrawny little duck. What you really want is something like... Him. You can tell an African elephant by its gigantic ears. Its cousin, the Indian elephant, has a smaller body and much smaller ears. Elephants are so large that other animals scatter in fear when they rumble by. Hey, cut that out! Or am I gonna have to tell him? Say, what's the matter with you? Why don't you pick on somebody your own size? <laughs> These animals love me! Yipe! They sure do, Bugs, but not everyone's running for cover, like these tall fellows. I'm sure you recognize our friends, the giraffes. Giraffes can easily reach the highest treetops, but they also must be able to reach low-lying water to drink. They do this by spreading their legs and lowering their long necks as far as they'll go. When they stand up again, they become the tallest creatures on Earth over 20 feet high. Mrs. Giraffe. Mrs. Giraffe, would you mind? Uh, doing some modeling work for us. We'd be ever so grateful to you. Uh, just sign this contract right here. Well, folks, talk about going from the beauty to the beast. Take a gander at this unusual creature. It's a warthog, Bugs. Africa's version of the pig. He hasn't come down to the water hole merely to drink. He's going to wallow in the glorious mud. Yeah, that's not true. Not all of you play a taste like mud. Warthogs coat their bodies with mud by rolling around in puddles. The layer of mud on their skin protects them from the hot sun as well as insect bites. Mmm, that feels so good. Well, and, and no one in my family has ever wallowed in the mud. <laughs> Until now. Uh-oh, here comes the queen of the jungle. The other animals run for their lives. Goodness gracious! See ya. But she's not in the mood for hunting today. She just wants to quench her thirst. Ah! Everybody, out of the pool! Uh, what's up, Doc? What's, uh, what's up? Uh, what's up, Doc? And here comes another thirsty lioness. Water is very important in Africa. Animals need to drink regularly to stay healthy, just like people. That's right, Doc. What is very important in Africa? Animals need to drink regularly, just like people. Africa is home to the biggest felines on Earth, the lions. Oh, yes. Lions and pussycats like twins. Lions are the perfect height to hide in the long grass of the savanna, and their golden brown fur also helps them blend in with the landscape. The lions you see here are all females. Yeah, you can tell because they don't have a bushy mane. And she lions are slightly smaller than the male lions. But where are the baby lions? They're hiding in the grass. See that one hiding there? It's a cute little lion cub. Uh-oh, he's a big one. Epa, epa, yippee, andale! He's still quite young, only three or four weeks old. He likes it in the shade, while his parents prefer sleeping in the sun. Yes, 40 winks. Time for peace and quiet. Oh. Ha, crazy kids. How can I get my beauty sleep with all this noise? Lions are mainly active at night. In the daytime, they spend most of their time sleeping. Who would have thought the kings of the jungle would be so lazy? From time to time, the little ones snuggle up for a sip of their mother's milk. Me too. I'm just a baby. Isn't that lion cub adorable? At this young age, his fur looks different than his mother's. It has spots. 
<laughs> just look at these fluff balls. They look like they were only just born. They're still all wobbly on their feet. Baby lions love to fool around and play games. They may look clumsy, but they're actually quite strong and agile for their age. The African natives call the lion Simba. This little Simba is already turning into a brat. He doesn't want to do what his mother tells him. But the mother lion won't put up with his disobedience for long. She'll spank him with her paw. And if that doesn't work, she'll give him a gentle bite to keep him in line. Hi! Why don't you pick on somebody your own size? You crazy! Okay, you asked for it. <laughs> Here comes a pack of lion cubs looking for fun. One diverts the mother's attention while the others clown around. Just like humans, lion mothers need lots of patience. <laughs> Pull yourself to get it, Sylvester. Absorb this mommy lion in action. The mother lion delicately picks her cub up in her mouth. It may look uncomfortable, but it really doesn't hurt. In fact, the cub actually enjoys the ride. Well, I don't know about you, but I didn't like that ride at all. Me neither. It was way too dark and stuffy. The lion cubs love these free rides so much, they'll come and ask for another. I'm not asking for more. Put me out! A family of lions is called a pride. One or two males usually lead a pride, protecting between five and twelve females. Five to twelve she lions and one or two lions. That must make for an awful lot of ankle biters. How do the mother lions look after all their little hairballs? When a female lion has cubs, the entire pride helps to raise them, which means there's always a babysitter to watch over the cubs and join in their fun and games. Looking after her young is a labor of love for the mother lion. Lions just love playing games, but there comes a time when even they want to stop. The lion cub rolls over on its back as if to say, that's enough, I don't feel like playing anymore. <laughs> stop it! No, no, no! I've had enough! Stop it! Stop! Fancy that! My son, the lion. I better put a stop to this. In a pride of lions, there are cubs of many different ages, and they all live together in harmony, like one big happy family. Lion cubs are full of boundless energy, which can drive their lion parents crazy, especially when they're trying to take a nice, long nap. Oh, a little nap. Oh, sure. Just look at these lazy loafers. Ha! Sleeping for these they can't think about. The little ones love to tease their lazy parents. They'll do anything to get Mom and Dad to join the party. Sylvester, so, you promised them oh, to get yeah, to the sure, They keep sure. imitating lions, growling and sleeping all day long. Say, can't you see I'm busy? I'm a big cat, you know, and I need my rest during the day so I can sleep at night. Like Sylvester, adult lions hate to be disturbed while they're sleeping. They won't hesitate to put their frisky cubs in their place. Ah, peace at last. <laughs> 
I, I say I agree. Uh, I gotta get some sweet. <sighs> Elmer, are you awake? Say, what's the big idea? Sorry, I thought you were awake. Mmm, there's nothing like a good snooze. A moment of pleasure for the entire family. for the snooze button. Oh well, now it's time for Mama Lion to round up the family. That's right, Bugs. The mother lion calls her little ones home with a rallying roar. And here comes the first of the cubs. He knows when mother calls, you don't keep her waiting. It looks like the two youngest cubs are still missing. Kitty, 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 where are you? You, cubby cats, Pepe's looking for you. Here they come at last, and they're happy to be back home, especially since it's time for something to eat. They were having so much fun they almost forgot about lunch. Luckily, they have their loving mother to look after them. One thing a lion cub simply adores, it's playing with his mother's tail. It's so much fun to pull and chew on it. Uh, it's no big deal being a lion. I don't mind having my tail pulled either. <laughs> the fun goes on and on. It's like playing with a wonderful toy. But even the most patient mother lion will put a stop to the game when she decides enough is enough. Oh well, there's always a little brother to play with. And all this playing isn't just for fun. It helps the cubs become better hunters and fighters. I am already a very powerful fighter. And I'm not afraid of going through a cat to get what I need. Too quiet and boring around here. Uh-oh, here's someone looking for a fight. Well, well, who do we have here? It's Daddy, quick, let's go say hello. A lion has a superb mane, and he'll need it during his next fight to protect him from the bites and scratches of his opponent. Dad's not in the mood for playing with his cubs today. He's tired and grouchy. Who can blame him? It's hard work leading a pride. Just see that old grouch? Well, watch this. Yeah! Whoa! 
Well, I sure scared old Porky, didn't I? And I ain't no lion. Okay, so next, the daddy lion puts the slippers on, reads his papers, and orders a big pizza. No, Sylvester. Wrong again. It looks like the cubs are back to their old tricks again. Dad may be in a grouchy mood, but they can still have fun playing with his tail. Then what, Sylvester? They attack his head! <laughs> and if the tail doesn't work, you can tug on Daddy's mane. That's fun, too. Ouch! Daddy woke up on the wrong side of the bed. <laughs> ah, shut up! Bugs, as host of this show, I object to that display of violence. We now return to our regularly scheduled program. But it wasn't me who started it, Bugs. Honest, it was him. Come on, Sylvester, don't be silly. Just look how cute they are. Like a miss of paws and ears and noses and tummies sitting around in the sun. Hello? Is this Mr. and Mrs. Lion? Have you ever tried playing with an egg, eh? As a matter of fact, this lion right here seems to have stumbled upon an egg. My egg! I said my egg! Someone stole my egg! Where's my little Coco? Like cats, lions are naturally curious creatures. First they study the egg carefully, wondering what on earth it could be. My egg! My egg! Where is it? Who's taking it? Here, egg! Here, egg! Uh-oh. I bet a lion has it. Calm down, Foghorn. This egg isn't yours. It's an ostrich egg. Ostriches are the biggest birds in the world, and their eggs are so large, even the mighty lion can't seem to crack them. The lions try and try to crack the shell, but it's no use. The egg's just too darn big. When they finally give up, it's time for the little ones to take a crack at cracking it. Hey, kitty! Watch! Now you see it, and now you do! <laughs> What's this thing walking along the ground? It looks a bit like that egg. Half an egg, actually. Half an egg that moves. You've probably guessed it by now. It's a tortoise. Wait a minute. Where did his head and legs go? Ah, the tortoise has pulled them inside his shell, out of harm's way. The lion cubs can now play safely with the tortoise without hurting it. Father, what are you doing in that tortoise shell? Look, son, don't you like playing with tortoises? The narrator said you do. But, Father, there's someone in there with you. Ah! Say, what you doing in there? That cub is small but strong. It seems the lion cubs haven't tired of the game yet. They keep nibbling at the poor tortoise's shell. refuses to come out. So off the cubs go to find another playmate. Now that the lions have left it alone, the tortoise continues on its way. After all that excitement, our lion friends have earned themselves another nap.
are not a nap. It's amazing that these guys are known as king of the jungle with all that snoozing going on. That's right, Bugs. Even with all that sleeping, lions are still considered king of the beasts, respected and feared by all the animals in Africa. Did you know an adult lion can weigh up to 450 pounds? That's as much as a pony. Let's take a closer look at the male lion. His wide nostrils give him a fantastic sense of smell. And like all cats, he has whiskers. Listen, you do what I say, cause I'm a lion! You're a lion, my big toe! You're just a pussy cat! No! These magnificent felines are somewhat like our pet cats, only much, much bigger. They have excellent eyesight and a sharp sense of hearing, even when they appear to be sleeping. So if you were a lion, could I do this? <laughs> Lions hear almost everything. Their ears automatically twitch in the right direction when something moves nearby. Just look at those sharp teeth. It's best to stay far away from those. <laughs> the young lions may settle down, but not for long. Soon they'll be sparring with each other to see who's the strongest. There's another young male. He still has a lot to learn before he can lead a pride. This young lion is going to try his hand at hunting for the first time. He spotted the zebras and antelopes scattered peacefully around the water hole. He sneaks up on them very quietly. Look out! The young male reveals himself too quickly, giving his prey a chance to escape. But there's no harm done. The female lions are the pride's true hunters. The male's job is simply to protect his family. Male or female, lions have to drink regularly to stay healthy. Fortunately, the mother lions know where all the best water holes are. The little ones enjoy the fresh water. Water holes are few and far between in Africa. When they find one, lions must drink enough to last half a day. Lions lap the water just like dogs and cats. If you look closely, you can see them shake their tongue like a ladle to scoop up as much water as possible. Oh, I can drink like a lion too, fun. Check it out. It's time for the mother lion and her cubs to go off in search of new adventures. So say goodbye to the lion family. And a big thank you to our lion friends for letting us spend some time with them. But right now, I'd like to take you to discover some more of the big cats that live in Africa. Ready? I click here on Cheetah, and away we go. Here we see the sleek and beautiful Cheetah an animal whose numbers are dwindling. This is certainly a strange sight. A lion and a cheetah squaring off, neither one wanting to back down first. No fair. Hey, Bugs, didn't he say one of them was a cheater? After a long standoff, it is finally the cheetah who gives up and backs down. The stronger lion stays his ground, while the wiser cheetah goes on his way. Stay and fight, you cheater! <laughs> Poor Daffy. Oh well, look at this mother cheetah. She has three babies just like the mother lion. 
Yes, but they're much smaller than lion cubs. Their mother builds them a little shelter in the grass where she'll keep them for the first few weeks of life. Like the lions, mother cheetahs look after their young with tender loving care. Unlike the lions, cheetahs do not live in groups, so the mother has no babysitters to lend her a helping hand. But she manages very well on her own, thank you. The cheetah cubs are blind at birth because their eyes haven't opened yet. After 10 days, their eyes will open and they'll see for the very first time. Baby cheetahs have the same spotted fur as their parents. Yeah, well, what's so great about spots? Ooh, I hate him, I hate him, I hate him, I hate him. To keep her little ones safe, the mother cheetah keeps moving her children to a new home. As you can see, mother cheetahs can also carry their cubs in their mouths without hurting them. I can carry you in my mouth without hurting you one bit. Ah. <laughs> the mother cheetah has finally found a safe shelter for her children. Cheetahs were built for running with their narrow heads, their little ears, and their long, slender legs. <laughs> Cheetahs will often climb trees so that they can see into the distance. For what? I can climb trees too, you know. Even the little ones give tree climbing a try. But this one has climbed a bit too high. be wondering how he's going to get down. It looks like you'll have to do it without his mother's help. He finally makes it back down with a little help from his brother and the family is reunited again. By little, the young fuzzballs gain confidence. Soon they'll be big enough to go out into the world on their own. It's time for some exploring. Young cheetahs are very curious creatures. While their mother keeps watch from under a tree, the little ones explore the rocks. Who knows what they'll find? Do not be afraid, babies. It is me, Pepe. I climb on the rocks very well, but about the little ones, I do not know. That's right, Pepe. Young cheetahs must learn to balance themselves on the rocks. And it's not as easy as you might think. You see, unlike lions, cheetahs are active in the daytime. Uh-oh, I think they might have found something. Now there's a strange animal. Be careful, the mother leopard seems to say. It might bite. Better to sniff at it first. This creature might be poisonous. The mother calls her young ones. She's just found a water hole. 
the thirsty cubs come running. Hey, I need a drink. Wait for me. <sighs> Talk about a duck out of water. Phew. Hello, baby. I hope Pippi hasn't been around here. Nope, I don't see him. You can recognize the younger cheetahs by the fluffy fur on the back of their necks. After two years, they'll reach adulthood and go off to fend for themselves. But until then, they'll enjoy the fun of family life. Just like lions, cheetahs are tough guys. To build in muscles, they fight amongst themselves. Or with other animals. Looks like our little roughnecks have found a new sparring partner. And although he's smaller, this pint-sized upstart seems to be holding his own. By playing these games, the cheetah learns to strike and duck quickly. Skills that will come in handy when they're hunting snakes and antelopes later in life. Do they? Or do they? Have no fear, Daffy. Cheetahs don't care for ducks. Here we have the end of a tail. And the female cheetah attached to it. Doesn't she look magnificent bathed in the light of the setting sun? Unlike other animals, cheetahs can't retract their claws. They stick out at all times. You wanna see claws? <laughs> While Sylvester plays connect the dots, let's get back to our cheetahs. The cheetah keeps its fur nice and clean by licking it, like a regular house cat. Cheetahs are the fastest mammals on Earth. When chasing their prey, they can top 75 miles per hour. That's as fast as a car on the freeway. But they can't keep up that speed over long stretches. They're more like sprinters than long distance runners. Most of the animals they hunt are sprinters like themselves. Antelopes and gazelles, for example. But you know, I can run fast too. Epa, epa, under the yeehaw! Hey! What was that? From her peaceful perch on the rock, this female cheetah has a marvelous view of her hunting ground. It's time to say sayonara to our cheetah friends and go and search of some really big kids. Let's click on Leopard, another African big cat. Leopards are a lot like cheetahs, but there are differences. Taz like cheetahs and leopards. Taz like now! <laughs> As you can see, leopards like to live in the shade. You'll only find them where there are trees for shelter. The mother raises her young in the branches of the trees. The mother leopard picks up her babies in her mouth and carries them to their new home. She's found the ideal spot. 
in among the roots of a tree. The female leopard has between one and three babies a year. Looks like we drop by right about bath time. Don't forget to scrub well behind the ears, Ma. Like the cheetahs, leopard cubs have the same spotted fur as their mothers. And for the first few days of their lives, they also cannot see. But don't worry, their mother will watch over them until their eyes open. For the first two months, the leopard cubs drink nothing but their mother's milk. Soon after that, they begin sampling the prey their mother brings home. And after four months, they'll stop drinking their mother's milk altogether. The leopard's coat is slightly different than the cheetah's. If you look closely, you can see brown spots ringed with black. Uh-oh, looks like rain. Uh oh It's a good thing everyone has taken shelter. Mom and baby stay under cover until the rain stops, but when the sun comes out, it's time to get some fresh air. Today the little one is going to learn something new, the art of stalking its prey. It's not too difficult, you just have to remember to stay low with your belly to the ground. That's nothing. Why, you're the best belly crawler I know. Thanks, Sam. It's an acquired skill. Not. Always be on the lookout, the mother leopard seems to say. Hey, the little one's getting the hang of it, just like his mother. Mama. Baby leopards don't go to school like humans. Their mother teaches them everything they need to know, and there's plenty for them to learn up until they are two years old. That's when a leopard becomes independent and goes out on his own. In the meantime, they must become as comfortable on the ground as they are in the trees. After learning to run through the tall grass, they'll learn to climb and balance on the branches of trees. Fortunately, their mother is always there to guide them. I'm ready for my next scene, so where do you want me? Okay, Daffy, I need you up there. Okay, now, be a leopard. But at this age, the cubs are not too sure of themselves. They take their time. Learning comes more slowly for some than others. Not everyone gets the hang of it the first time around. There, he's finally done it. Now he just has to be careful not to fall. A job well done. Congratulations. something. What a quick loiner. At the rate he's going, he'll be all grown up in no time. See what I mean? The adults are excellent climbers. They're as at home in the trees as they are on the ground. It takes plenty of practice and sharp, strong claws. Today, the leopards lie around in the trees, waiting for the night to fall so they can go hunting. Like lions, leopards hunt at night. Just like their lion and cheetah cousins, leopard cubs love to play with their mother's tail.
but their favorite toy of all is the familiar tortoise. First, they move their toy to the shade to get out of the hot sunshine. Then they can play to their heart's content. The cheetah's got my cousin! My cousin Buford! What will Mama say? I don't even know his cousin Buford. In the safety of his shell, the tortoise has nothing to fear. I bet that title's a little shell-shocked. Meanwhile, from his lofty lookout post, another leopard enjoys the magnificent view. The mother leopard calls her young. It's time for a drink and she knows just where to find the water. When they can't find a tree to their liking, the leopards can rest just as easily on the ground, as long as there's some shade. Shade is something they simply can't do without. They are not the only ones who sleep in the shade. <laughs> While the leopards are catching some Z's, let's check out their fur. Leopards have brown spots with black alongside completely black spots. And I'll tell you something, Doc, all those spots is what makes leopards leopards. Just like cats, leopards keep their fur clean. When leopards roam the savanna, they're generally looking for a new home from which to observe their surroundings. From up in a tree, everything looks more beautiful, even the rainbows. Now we're back where we started, a water hole somewhere in Namibia. The sun is setting and the lioness calls her cubs. The giraffes watch from on high. These lion cubs haven't had their afternoon nap and are doing their best to annoy daddy. Night is falling and it looks like all the animals are getting sleepy. It's almost time to say goodnight. We'll simply say, sweet dreams everyone, as the sun sets slowly in the west. So the time has come to say goodbye to our lion friends, but we've got lots of new horizons to discover together. We could go to the land of the elephants, or the land of the bears. Or how about monkey country? Or discover the animals of the sea.